Welcome once again, everyone, to another lesson on the Yalak Emmet channel. Twitter, YouTube, Patreon is May 22nd, 2022. This is another lesson in the Yalak Study Notes Torah Commentary, the Commentary of the Lord God. This lesson is titled, Jacob's Trouble. Of course, we have heard all along about Jacob's trouble. Some are saying, this is Jacob's trouble that's coming upon us with these end time stuff. It's funny, when I first heard the Hebrew Israelite message, they were saying, we've been in Jacob's trouble all along. Now, things are getting tighter <laughs> on earth, and now we're being told that we are about to enter into Jacob's trouble. You know, it's it's a little bit um, odd to me because I'm wondering, like others, what have we been going through all along? So I found two sets of um, scriptures here that I want to read so we can take a look at it some more. Now, Jacob's trouble. So Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7 and 8. Look at what this is saying here now. All right, so Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. He's saying none is like it, and he's going to be saved. So we know the salvation part is already promised. But when it says, for that day, of course, when you look at yam for day, it says day, time, year. So it can include any of those, right? Day, 24-hour period, as defined by evening and morning in Genesis chapter 1. It also, though, includes a division of time. And when you look at the the length of time that Israelites have been kicked out of their kingdom from Bible times and coming on up until now, the different shapes and forms that the captivity took in different lands. And of course, you know, the famous planta slave plantation, cotton picking and, uh, you know, sugar cane cutting and so on, Leopold in Belgium. And you know different things like that. It, it it's you can break that up into a division of time, meaning that it's a large block of time that we have been in this Jacob's trouble. It's not just a quick 24-hour thing or a one-day thing. It's it's a large block of time with. A lot of stuff happening all along the way. So when someone says now, oh, this, the Edom is getting ready to come down on us and what's coming and whatever. Jacob's trouble is supposed to be something that is unique to Jacob. It's something that is happening to him that did not happen quite the same way to others. So if... The world is getting ready to go through stuff that's been going on for the last two or three years. Then, I mean, a lot of people are sharing in this in different countries. Look at what went down in Australia, you know, in the past year or two or so. And in other places where similar stuff happened. So, you're not going to claim that as being Jacob's shovel. But if you look at what happened to us in slavery for the past four or so hundred years, four or five hundred years, however long it was, then you can look at that as being something unique to Jacob. It did not happen quite like that to other people for that length of time. For that length of time. Jacob's trouble. So we've been going through it for a while, a division of time. Right? So, now if we go back here now to reading verse 8. For it shall come to pass in that day, 
or in that division of time or in that length of time so it's still a part of that time because the deliverance is going to take place during the captivity but at the end of it to close it out to close it out so it says it come to pass in that day that the Lord of hosts shall break his yoke watch that word yoke I'm gonna come back to that quickly from off thy neck and will burst thy bonds and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him now if people say digital stuff is coming and 666 mark of the beast and they're gonna lock us up in certain camps and oh, you know, that's Jacob's trouble that we're getting ready to face and biometric IDs and so on and you can't buy and whatever well other people who are not Israelites are gonna have to deal with that as well who don't want to go along with the plan so that's is that Jacob's trouble for them because Jacob's trouble is gonna happen to Jacob that's why it's called the trouble of Jacob Jacob's trouble the trouble that Jacob is having to face and he's been facing it for a while so because they are doing or planning may plan some other stuff for the end that does not mean Jacob's trouble is beginning at that time or a little bit in the future it simply means it is the continuation if they go ahead with that it is the continuation of what they have been doing all along to us in Jacob's trouble but they can't do it in the same way anymore because they are running out of time and our captivity is also running out of time because I told you long time ago in the New Testament is fake series that you don't need no Calvary and so on and whatever because your 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 salvation your deliverance is a time your captivity is a time-based punishment and when the time runs out then your captivity is done and you're delivered so you don't need Calvary and so on to come and rescue you and save you out of this otherwise why did the, the Calvary happen and then still we are in this punishment all right and uh, so it's just a time-based thing and that's what you need to understand like people saying oh but the wicked must pay for their sins so Jesus died but you'll go on to get your punishment uh-uh you need to think of that in terms of the time based punishment so that Jesus death on Calvary is irrelevant because the time is what will deliver you not Calvary because if the wicked must pay for their sin, although this is in the New Testament, this fake series, then for Israelites who are continuing to sin in captivity, then shouldn't they go on to stay longer in their captivity and keep us all locked in here because they're still sinning? Even though Jesus died, died if you are still sinning, then you should continue to sin. So you should continue to pay the price. And lock us all into longer captivity or the rest of us go on to our salvation and deliverance and you who continue to sin go on to pay for the sin because the wicked must pay for the sin that's why the most High lets us know that it's a time based when his anger is complete he will come and rescue us so when that time comes when his anger is complete it don't matter what kind of sin you are doing the time is just up and you will be delivered and you might have to pay to, to, to clear up some stuff in the in the the wilderness but until you get into the land it's just a whole bunch of captivity stuff that's going on you aren't fully free until you return to your land and you begin to live in the glorious salvation of the Lord now he says here now it shall come to pass in that day so remember verse 7 now already said for that day is great even Jacob's trouble is a long time period like I said the, the the vision of time the block of time a long period of time where it's a long day that you're going through a long time that you're going through and but it just basically means a time period not of course like I said a single day and it shall come to pass in that day what in that day when you are going through Jacob's trouble that he the Lord of hosts will break his yoke from off his neck now for those of us who are saying that he's gonna come and put us in camps if you don't take um, 666 mark and 
and biometric ID and so on. He's going to put you in camp and that's going to be Jacob's shovel because you can't eat and so on or whatever and you're under his power. He's going to put you in camps. That's what they're saying. But that's putting you in camps. Where is the flogging there of slavery and the chopping off of your limbs from Leopold and so on that happened and the feeding of your children to alligators in slavery and so on and taking your skin to make to, to eat food or to make stuff um whatever they made purses and whatever blah 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 where's all that stuff in the future if they're going to put you in camps because you won't join the new 666 plan you see it's not something that's coming it is a day that has been going on for a long time not a day that is coming that's going to be a shorter period and then you'll be delivered it's been a long time that's why it calls it a day and it gives a lot of definitions, including a division of time, a long time span. And he will be saved out of it. So remember, we did this to the Most High for a long time and pissed off the Most High for a long time. So he put us in a long captivity. Forever is one of the words the Bible uses, forever, which means basically without end or can just be of long duration. That's the word forever. So it's not just going to be something that's short at the end. They just put you in some camp or they starve you out of food because you don't want to take some, some special ID into your body, some chip in your body and so on. No, it's not a short time span like that. And then bam, the most I see you are being destroyed. Now we're going to starve to death. So he comes and rescues us before we die of hunger in 40 to 60 days. No, because you, people fast for like 40 days. But after that, it is recommended that you eat food or you will start to die, right? So if they're going to cut you off from food because you don't take the mark or some chip and so on, you got to run about 40 days before people are dying off and some are going to die shorter than that. So you're telling me the future Jacob's trouble is going to be around about a 40-day period and some may last a little bit longer, a few more days longer than that, 50, 60 days if they manage to, or maybe a little bit longer if they got some food stored up. But most of the nation who can't afford that large stockpile of food is going to die off. So that short time period of trouble, it cannot be Jacob's trouble. That's just the tail end of Jacob's trouble. If it works out like that. If it works out like that. And I don't even think it's going to get that far. They might try to touch us with that a little bit, but it's not going to go deep and strong, is my belief. That's just a belief. Right? It's more that the trouble, instead of being a short time span of when people can survive without food if they don't take the chip, it's going to be, and remember, those of us who are trying to grow around food, if they're poisoning the food with stuff in the sky that they're spraying and whatever, and lack of sunlight that they're blocking, to make your food not grow then what's going to happen you might not make it some of us to 40 days because your food won't grow properly to sustain you so it's a short time that you're going to live if jacob's trouble is a um a short time span but jacob's trouble is more a long time stuff that we've been going through from babylonian and some assyrian and babylonian captivity coming all the way up to modern time slavery and now still being under the power of demons who look like people. Just another belief. All right. So, so no, Jacob's trouble is a long-term stuff, a long period of time. But he's going to come and break the yoke of your neck. Right? Break the yoke. So, so if he's breaking off the yoke now, that means it's something that has been there on Jacob's neck. While the other nations have been basking and living in the glory of their economic system that was cheating them well and their evil leaders that's been cheating them well. It's not going to be a short stuff in the future for a few days or a year or two maybe, if it lasts that long, right? That, that people who are not Israelites are going to be going through as well because they don't want to go along with the end time evil 666 plan so other people are going to be going through it as well for that time right and even as they talk about tribulation three and a half years of peace and then three and a half years of of hell on earth well Israelites have been going through hell for hundreds of years or longer 
So that more seems to me like Jacob's trouble. If not, then what do you brand that time period when people were going through all kinds of stuff? Indian slave trade, Arab slave trade, and transatlantic slave trade, Babylonian Assyrian captivity, and so on. What do you call all of that time? Time period. But he's going to break the yoke that has been on us for a long time. Because if we were not suffering in Jacob's trouble all the time, a lot of us, ton loads of us, would be able to prepare for the short time ahead to ride out the stuff until the bigger wars break out that will damage and break down their 666 system. We would be able to do that and prepare. Instead, most Israelites cannot prepare properly for what they, they is ahead. Because they were under a yoke that did not allow them to work and get the money together to provide for themselves and save up for a rainy day at the same time. Because people who are Israelites have been living from paycheck to half a paycheck, in some cases to quarter of a paycheck, while the other nations were living it up. Because we were always in Jacob's trouble all along. Let's read the next verse here now, or rather scripture from... Hosea chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. Now again showing the time period that we were in, a long time period, long time period, not a short time period of living without food because you did not take some special 666 mark and you're just going to ride it out until your food finish. Hoping that the Most High will deliver you in 40 days, 60 years, 80 days, maybe a year or two. If you can manage to survive that long and still live while being extra skinny. For a year or two, if you can make it that long. But what about the hundreds of years, like the famous 400 years that we talk about, even though it may not actually be 400 years. Some say 500, some say less, some say all kinds of whatever. But Assyrian and Babylonian captivity is probably 2,700 years or whatever since we've been cut off. So it's a long time period of captivity, of punishment to let the Most High's anger go for a long time until it is complete. So that long time period now, look at it here. Hosea chapter 6, 1 and 2. Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn and he will heal us. He hath smitten and he will bind us up. And that smiting came from the Most High through the antics of the other nations, what they did to us. And through the smiting of their hands when they were hitting us in our captivity and in our slavery and beating us with whips and hitting us with their hands and slapping and boxing us in our faces and whatever, beating us, chopping off limbs, killing us, whatever. That seems, that stuff in slavery, like a long time period of Jacob's trouble, not something coming in the future. We're going to be sharing in running and hiding from the system like others who are hiding from it as well, who are not Israelites, right? So we were smitten by these people at the hands of the Lord when he allowed them to do this stuff to us, right? We were smitten like that for a very long time and had to run, run, run and try to survive. Those of us who were able to live through it. And after two days, will he revive us in the third day? He will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. And if people are saying a day is like a thousand years and whatever, where, however they worked it out. I mean, the whole thing seems strange to me, but you find that places in the Bible, I guess. So even if you want to think in along those lines, then after two days, I mean, that's just a long time period. Like in that day, he's going to come a, a long time period, a long block of time after two days and in the third day. So if Babylonian, Assyrian and Babylonian captivity are like around about 27, 2800 years, whatever the deal is, 2600, that's a long time. That's like two to three days. The third day will be raised up to live like some millennium next millennium kind of stuff in the third day you see it makes more sense that we've been going through this for a long time period or a long day when the yoke of the wicked was up on us jacob's trouble in the way i see it is not something coming for a very short time in the future when they have to split their focus on the other nations of the people in those other nations who refuse to go with the plan jacob's trouble was something done specifically to us for a long time that we were unable to get out of. But now when it's going to happen to other people as well in the future who don't want to go along with the new plan. 
to have their bodies taken over, then we can somehow move along with them and try to get, get in communities with them to survive it as well. That they're going through Jacob's trouble as well. So it's not, you wouldn't call it Jacob's trouble. You would call that the uh, world trouble. Because different people from different nations who are not even Israelites are going to be going through the same way Israelites are. But Jacob's trouble is just for Jacob. Because when Jacob was going through his trouble, anyone, when Jacob was going through his trouble, anyone who was suffering and down and out could choose to stop suffering by turning on us and getting collecting cash as well and abusing us the same way the slave masters abused us. They could join in and reap benefits from us. Benefits from off of the backs of us. They didn't have to suffer with us. All right? So Jacob's trouble is something we've been going through for a long time. And in the third day, he's going to revive us. He's going to raise us up. This is the Alok Emmett channel, Twitter, YouTube, Patreon. And this was Jacob's trouble in the Alok study notes, Torah commentary, the commentary of the Lord God.